Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. X equals square root of 8 over X. And from here, we are directed to get the complete solution. The first thing is to remove this square root. So we have X equals square root of 8 over x. Now to remove this square root, right, we'll have to square this. And if you square any side of an equation, you would have to square the other side. Now the reason for squaring this side is to remove this. So now we have x squared equals 8 over x, right? And then we believe that this is also over 1. So we cross multiply. And again, you should know when to cross multiply, right? So x multiplied by x squared will give x to the power of 3. And that is equal to 8. So from here, we can now continue to solve this and have three solutions. This is because we have the power of 3 x to the power of 3 here is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now we have the same powers. Ordinarily, we are supposed to equate the basis and conclude that x is equal to 2. But that will not give us the complete three solutions. Let's bring this to the left and we'll apply difference of two cubes. x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 equals zero we are going to apply difference of two cubes okay so if you have a to the power to the power of three minus b to the power of three we are taking difference of two terms that are raised to the power of three so now this will give us a minus b right into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so this is what we we will have now according to this equation now our a is x and our b is 2 so in place of a minus b we'll write x minus 2 then in the place of a squared we'll write x squared plus here we have a b a b means a times b and now our b is 2. Do not go with this sign. Our b is just 2. So it's going to be x times 2. Because a is x and b is 2. x times 2 is 2x. Plus b squared. That will be 2 squared. And that will give 4. Now everything here is equal to 0. Okay, and it's easier for us to proceed from here. We are multiplying these two to get zero. So either of them must be equal to zero. So if you pick this first, x minus two will be equal to zero, meaning that x is equal to zero plus two. And if we do that, x is equal to two. So we've had one of the solutions. Now to get the other solution, we're going to copy this factor and equate it to zero x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals zero okay so we will equate this to zero and it will give us a quadratic equation now let's use formula to deal with this x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2 times a so we need to have our a b c our a is the coefficient of the first term which is x squared it is 1 our b is the coefficient of x and that is positive 2 and then c is a constant which is 4 so the next target is to put all of this into the formula our x will now be minus b will be minus 2 then plus or minus b squared, that will be 2 squared, minus 4 times a 
times 4 because a is 1 and c is 4 divide by 2 times 1 now we are going to continue so that x will now be minus 2 plus or minus then square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 so we divide this by 2 now we will take the difference of this so our x is going to be minus 2 plus or minus I will say it again we will simplify this these two terms these two numbers are perfect square but you will get it wrong if you take the square root of this separately and the square root of this separately so we have square root of negative 2 of 4 minus 16 is negative 2 of divide by 2 now I'm going to continue from here so that our x will now be this is minus 2 it comes down plus or minus now we cannot use calculator to get square root of negative number but we can split this negative from 12 so we get square root of 12 then square root of negative 1 mind you root 12 times root negative 1 will give us root negative 12 so it will give us this now we'll divide this by 2 now this 12 again we can simplify it root 12 so we get x to be equal to negative 2 plus or minus 4 is a factor of 12 and 4 is perfect so we'll write 4 times 3 when I say perfect I mean I mean perfect square so this will be multiplying negative 1 then we'll divide this by 2 now our x will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 there will give 2 then we have root 3 multiply by i because square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we write i and then we divide this by 2 what again do i do x will be minus 2 okay by the way no need for that because this can just take that out so we'll have minus 1 there then plus or minus the same two will go with this and then um root 3 times i is better written as i root 3 so the two under is no longer there so from here now we have two in one solution but then we had one solution before let's call that x1 which is 2 then we have x2 now which is minus 1 plus or minus o we are picking one of the solutions so we are picking one from here which is positive 1 I mean um, positive so we have minus 1 plus i root 3 then our x3 is still from here and it's going to be minus 1 this time around this will be minus then we have i root 3 so we have solved this problem completely thank you for watching